Hello everyone, welcome to a Super Bowl edition of Aaron's Collecting and Detecting. And because it is a Super Bowl edition, I am going to show you some football cards. Uh, but just to speak on that game, it was a very underwhelming game. Uh, and the outcome was not anywhere where I thought. Um, at first, I thought Kansas City was going to win. Although I was worried about Brady's history and about of winning Super Bowls and getting to Super Bowls and being like basically the best quarterback ever. But I figured, you know, it's Mahomes time. They won last year. Uh, Brady's a year older. To me, I don't. I mean, he's on a different team. He's there the wild card. None of that mattered. Uh, they bl blew them out of the water. Actually, it was more the I think it was more the Tampa Bay defense than uh, Brady in the offense. Um, I did not know their defense was that good. I'm not to be honest with you. I'm not really that familiar with Tampa Bay. Um, but I I am familiar, very familiar with Kansas City, and I just thought Kansas City was going to run all over them and. Mahomes just didn't have it today. I mean, he didn't have a lot of time to throw. His receivers were double covered a lot of the times. You know, they, they had a lot of penalties. They just, he just didn't have it. It wasn't their day. Um, but, you know, he got there second year in a row. Um, very well could have went the other way because he beat Brady uh, the previous year. So... Not in, not in the Super Bowl, but in the playoffs. So, you know, and they and they basically have the same team, but not Brady, but, you know, Mahomes does. So, so I was actually surprised it wasn't at least even at least more close, but I give credit where credit is due. Um, I did actually want Brady to win because he's a U of M guy. Um... So I don't care if he wins 100 Super Bowls. I, you know, since he's a U of M guy, Michigan guy, you know, I wanted him to win. But I like Mahomes. Mahomes is very talented. He's very charismatic. He's just seems like a good kid. Um, but, yep, the better team won today. That's my overall thoughts. So, and then you heard him. He's doing it again next year, which he did say. He said he's going to play till 50 if he's possible, which, you know, I real I thought that was funny, but I don't know. I don't know now. Get him in the right system, and maybe he can stay playing for 50 till he's 50, so I don't know. But anyways, guys, enough rambling about the Super Bowl. Um, Here's some football. Um, I did happen to – this is a box that I was looking through that I found – and I'm like, realize, hey, I didn't show the show these cards off. So I tried to put them in order. I put them somewhat in order. Um, there's one side of them that's in order. There's the other side that's not. I'm going to show you the side that I did put in order. Um, starting with 2009 Don Russ Gridiron Gear. Vernon Davis. Got to put it this way. Now, they're not in alphabetical order. They're just in... Like, the players aren't in order, in any kind of order. They're just the year and the brand. So that's Don Russ Gridiron Gear. So then anything after Don Russ, or say if it was Don Russ, something that started with the after a GR, then that's would come after this. So you guys will see, just as I show you the names of the cards that I'm showing you. All right, Jay Cutler. Santonio San Holmes, Frank Gore, good running back, good solid running back, Carson Palmer, retired, over, he wasn't that, that good, I don't think, he was okay, Marcus Colston, I don't think he's playing anymore, I don't know though, he might be. Um, 83, yeah, that would make him like, what, 37 now? So he could be. Darren McFadden, I don't know if he's playing anymore. 
Uh, he would only be 33. That's kind of old for running backs. Matt Ryan, I know he's still playing. Braylon Edwards, another Michigan guy. I know he's not playing anymore. Although he's only 37. Michael Turner, don't think he's playing either. Jamal Lewis, I know he's not playing anymore. He, he would be over 40. And ain't no way a 40-year-old running back still playing for a major team, NFL team. Willis McGahee. Yeah, this is gridiron gear still. Ryan Grant. Yeah, these guys were all good at the time. Some of them are... Are still considered good. I think Jason Witten was still playing this year. He's 38 there. Steven Jackson I know was really good for a while there. I don't know what happened to him. Probably just got old. Well he was kind of old there for running backs but Donovan McNabb the Eagles. Kellen Winslow Jr., who there was all this hype on, never really lived up to the hype. Clinton Portis, good running back. Reggie Wayne, awesome player for the Colts. Larry Johnson, good running back. For the Chiefs, played at Penn State. Now we're into some playoff prestige. Willie Parker. Decent running back. Pittsburgh for a while. Michael Turner. TJ Hushmanzada. Dare you to say that name five times fast. Santonio San Holmes is pretty good there for a bit too. Jonathan Stewart, decent running back for the uh, Panthers, the second year. Donovan McNabb. Brian Westbrook. Good running back, good receiving. Running back out of the backfield, good receiver. Another Santonio Holmes. Jay Cutler. Yuck. He stunk, in my opinion. Michael Turner, again. TJ Hushmanzada, again. Tim Hightower, which is pretty good there for a short amount of time. Decent. Although he's not decent there. Look at 2.8 yards of carry. 10 touchdowns, though. Looks like they used him in, like, goal line situations or something similar. Marcus Colston, pretty good receiver. Here is Chad Oshosinko, and this is a variation, extra point variation. This is numbered 298 out of 300. This is after his name was changed from Chad Johnson to... Chad Ocho Cinco, weird. And here's some 2009 upper deck. Brian Erlacher, awesome defensive player. Bob Sanders, another awesome defensive player. Joseph Adai. I think he, uh, was basically Edger and James's replacement, if I recall correctly. Tony Gonzalez, you know him. Dosekis. Or no, not Dosekis. What wait. What's that beer? Um Well he does those beers commercials. I can't think of the beer right now, but you guys know I'm sure. I think he's an all time uh touchdown and yardage leader for tight ends, or he was. Ed Reed, that's another 
Another dang good player. Part of that awesome Ravens defense from the 2000s. Derek Mason, a Michigan uh, Michigan State grad, and then he was uh, that the receiver of this, that one Super Bowl against the Rams when he was on the uh, Titans that he just missed the goal line at the, at the buzzer. Didn't quite get there, but he is pretty good, as you can see. A lot of 1,000-yard seasons. Jason Witten. Clinton Portis. Roy Williams, which he was okay, I guess. Nowhere near what the hype was for him. This guy was a pretty good tight end back in his day. I can't even remember his name. Visconti. Shot. I don't know. I don't remember his name. Shot. Sheik. Sheenko. Sheenko. I don't know. Kellen Winslow Jr. Played at Miami. There's another Michigan guy, Steve Breston. Pretty good for us. He had a thousand yard season his second year. It's pretty good. But I think that's when they had Kurt Warner throwing to him. So Antonio Gates. Pretty sure he's uh, not focusing. If he's not in the Hall of Fame, I'm sure he will be. I think Gonzalez is. Santonio Holmes again. Oops. Michael Turner. McNabb. Matt Ryan. Cedric Benson, who was overrated, I think. Look at the average, 3.4, 3.5, 4.1. Still isn't that that good. Four, I'd say 4 is about average. Jay Cutler, eh. Santana Moss, he was pretty good. Pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. Tim Hightower. Joe Flacco, another Joe Flacco. If it cuts off, guys, I apologize. I haven't uh, cleaned my phone off or tried to check. I haven't done a video in about a week, so I haven't had anything. Um, I still these aren't new. I've had these, so I but I remembered that I didn't show you guys these cards, so I thought I'd show them. And plus, since the Super Bowl was today, or yesterday, now, because it's after midnight. But it's still today for me because I didn't go to bed yet. Jamal Lewis. Oh, that was Chris Johnson. He was a fast running back. Jamal Lewis. McNabb again. This is an upper deck first edition, which is, it's like a opening day. How baseball has opening day. It's like a cheaper brand of upper deck. Well, these are the silver parallels. Ryan Grant, Wes Welker, then you got some inserts, bombs away, Jay Cutler, Carson Palmer, Julius Peppers, Crunch time. Dwight Freeney. Ed Reed. Speed to burn insert, Deshaun Jackson. I know he's still playing this year. And he went back to uh, Philly, I believe. Reggie Wayne. Then a star attraction insert, Troy Palomalu.
I, he's a good player too. Reggie Wayne. Now these are the bronze versions. The silver ones were one per pack. Braylon Edwards, U of M guy. Brandon Marshall, pretty good receiver. And I think he went to uh, the Dolphins after, after the Broncos. Jared Allen with the mullet. Got some good sack totals there. 14 and a half, 15 and a half, 11. Vincent Jackson, another decent receiver there for a little bit. Chad Ochocinco, which I think his... I mean, he was good. Look at those numbers. Pretty good. But to me, was he as good as Rice or Moss or... Um, not even as good as T.O. T.O. had a, a bigger mouth, but I think T.O. was better than Chad Ochocinco, personally. Wes Welker. I would even say Wes Welker was better. You guys, some of you will disagree, I'm sure, and that's okay. That's what's good about life. Everybody's different. Everybody has opinions. I'm welcome to debate, to debate. I'm not so immature to say if you don't think my way, then I don't like you. Or, you know, I think that's why we have the problems with the world today. Everybody thinks their way is the right way, and if you don't think their way, they don't like you. I mean, I'm that way with certain things. Like, obviously, if you thought, you know, certain things were okay, then I would uh, probably distance myself from you. But a lot of stuff is just, you know, opinion. D. Mason. And you have a right to your opinion, just like I have a right to mine. And while I might not share in your opinion, I respect it. As long as it's not something ridiculous. Another Jason Witten. Vernon Davis. I know you guys are probably wondering, where's the Farves? Where's the Mannings? Where's the Brady's? Well, most of those are taken out of here. Were taken out of here, I think, back in the day, because those guys were good back then. So, but like Matt Ryan, he was just starting. So, and he's like kind of a tear down from those guys, like Rogers. Rogers was still already good. Bolden, he's good. Really good. James Harrison liked him. Jonathan Stewart. Isn't James Harrison the one that does that commercial where he's tackling the guy on the lawn? I think that's him, I believe. Could be wrong, though. Because he's like 42 years old, so he'd be a little old to do that now. But hey, Larry Johnson again. Reggie Wayne. I forgot which one of these I've shown, so I'm just going to show you all of them and finish it out. I don't have that many more. But sorry I haven't been on, guys. Like I said, I just don't have any, didn't really have any stuff to show you, and I just didn't want to come back and show you stuff over again. And since nobody really said that they wanted to see anything, I mean, I got one request to to, to talk about the history of baseball, or not baseball, the history of card collecting, but I don't know. I don't really know much about it except for, like, I just have to do research and write stuff out. I mean, I do know they've been doing it since way back when, but I know that most people back in the day didn't keep their stuff from, you know, most people got, you know, you got it out of the tobacco products and most people obviously wanted the cigarettes or cigars or whatever they got it from Heinz Ward. I like Heinz Ward. Good, good receiver. Um, and then 
when they got them in uh, with packs of gum, then a lot of times people took the gum and threw away the cards or trashed the cards. And then, I mean, I can only speak from my time. I just remember, and I'd say about the mid 80s is when I started getting friends that did that and they started trying to protect them. And because when I got cards when I was little, there really, I don't think there really was anything to protect them. So you just had them loose. Marshawn Lynch, beast mode. That's his, what, third year? Yeah, third year. So, um, but yeah, that's it for now. Those are all the 2009s that I had. Not all the 2009s that I have, but the 2009s in that box um, that were sleeved up that I can uh, put into order there. So, um, but yeah, like I said, it was an underwhelming Super Bowl. Um, and with a unexpected outcome, at least for me, like I said, I thought Kansas City would win. I thought it would be closer, but neither of those happened. And, you know, it, Kansas City just didn't find their footing, their, their rhythm. They just, you know, give credit to uh, Tampa Bay defense, give credit to Brady. He did what he needed to do. You know, didn't throw any interceptions, no fumbles, and the defense did its job, more than did its job, and there you go. It just shows you you don't have to do, you know, anything overwhelming as a quarterback. Just, you know, just be a – don't do anything stupid. You know, don't try to make crazy plays. Don't, you know, do that. Have some good offensive line play. And – uh yeah, you can come out the winner. So, but that's about it, guys. Hopefully, you had a good weekend. Hopefully, you enjoyed the Super Bowl more than I did. Um, but I mean, it was okay. It was still football, right? Um, the commercials were all right. Nothing that really stuck out in my mind, but I was kind of half paying attention when those were on. So, I don't know. It was, yeah, if you guys want to talk about the Super Bowl, Shoot me some comments. I'll respond. Um, anything you guys want to talk about? You know, I miss talking to you guys. It's been about a week. So, I mean, where's my people? Talk to me, people. I miss you guys. I'm out of here. Later. Have a good Monday. Be kind to one another. Be safe out there. And do what you love and love what you do. Later, later.